thought I will make this video and show you how you can set up your own centralized logging server using OpenSearch and OpenSearch dashboards. Now, as you know, OpenSearch is a fork of Elasticsearch, which is a full text-based search and analytics engine. That is, it could store huge volumes of text-based data and indexes it across them, making it ideal for solutions like application logging. In this video, I'd be talking about two things. One, how we can set it up in your local computer using Docker Compose. Now, this makes it very handy for you to just get comfortable with it and get hands on. Uh, just understand how open search works. And you can also use it for your local application development if you wish to. And B, how you can deploy this as a standalone instance on a, a virtual machine or a VPS using Kamal Deploy. I will show you how you can set it up as an accessory on Kamal, and from there you could uh, host it on any virtual machine on Hetzner or wherever you wish to. So on that note, let's get started. I have added all the instructions to this Git repo, which I will link to this uh, just to the description of this video. So here I you will find the instructions on how to run this as a Docker container using Docker Compose. Now this could be on your local computer or even on your server if you're if you're already used to running apps uh, using Docker Compose on your servers. So this is one, and here you have the second part, which is how you can set it up as an accessory for Kamal. So let's go go through this from the beginning. Um, when you are trying to set this up in your Docker Compose, make sure the first step is to generate the certificates, and uh, then pretty much that's it. Like if you were to look at the file, uh, you, I'm just pulling two images, one for open search and second for open search dashboards. You could just copy it as is, make sure you are referencing the certificates correctly in the folder, and um, I'm, I'd like to set this up with a password just so that if I am putting uh, hosting this on any server, I don't want this to be exposed. So you could just set up a password. And this is the reason why you have to generate the certificates. Okay, if you decide to host this without a password, you are good to go without even generating any of these uh, certificates. And yeah, like, uh, and because one thing to note, because I uh, self-signed these certificates, uh, I have to, in my open search dashboard, I have to pass this as none, okay? And the reason for that is that otherwise it will try to verify the certificate and, you know, it will fail because it's a self-signed one. Anyways, well now, uh, this is the same code base that I have. This is the same code base that I have over here. Now, this is, uh, I'll just show you how I uh, set it up on my computer. The only difference here is here I'm referencing the, the certificates directly from the root of my folder instead of referencing this from my search. It's for a different reason. But outside of that, everything else is same. Now let me run this. I think this is already running. I may have to exit this and start again. Yeah. So yeah, just do Dr. Compose up build. All it will do is will start running. There is no build process. It's only, the only delay would be just to pull this images, right? Pretty much that's it. And yeah, so here it is running and to test this, how it is working, oops. You could run this command and as you can see, it has fetched all the indexes for me. And if I were to go here and open this instance, yeah, this is, here it is, right? And I'll grab the password, it is. Yeah, so pretty much this is it and yeah we'll just make sure that's just to change this to confirm uh you will see this when you're setting this up for the first time i'll quickly show you how you can send logs here now this is my one this is one of the applications that i'm working on this is in php laravel and here i have set up open search as one of my drivers and here uh, i have set my host as with this url the only difference only point you have to uh, pay attention to is that if you are hosting this using Docker, make sure it's referencing the correct name on your net Docker network, okay? Otherwise, if you're passing localhost over here, it won't work. So uh, I've been running this already. Let's see, it's, yeah, it's running uh, maybe a minute. Anyways, I think we'll try. Okay, now this should just send some logs here. We'll just quickly index this. I 
I'll have my timestamp as my primary index field and create index. Yep, the index is created. Things look good. Let's go to discover and let's start looking at some logs. Yeah, here you see, right? So as you can see, it already sent some of the logs here. Now, if I were to refresh this one more time, I would see a one more stick next to it. Let's refresh. Yep, here I saw the logs. And of course, you could customize this the way you want it, right? I want message, I want this. I mean, it's up to you. Now, I will quickly go over how you can set this up as a Kamal Deploy accessory. Uh, now, why Kamal Deploy? Because uh, I found this to be the easiest way how I can deploy this to a standalone VM or a VPS. Okay, it's much easier for me to manage, handle if I want to restart or add some more stuff to it. So, uh, it's everything remains same you could just copy over this file as is and just update your accessories uh, section i have this open search image i have this open search dashboard image uh, because i'm using password i need to use pass the create generate the certificates and so on uh, one thing i would ask you to modify here is this password could be a secret instead of a clear variable okay this is especially if you're going to expose this to your client or uh, production systems. Here, I will quickly show you, uh, just modify this, uh, my PHP application to send logs to my server. My URL is updated here. Okay, now let's just quickly try. It should generate the logs. Now this is my server. Let me go to my discover. And here, as you can see, I see the six logs generated over here, right? And if I do it one more time, refresh, there you go, right? So yeah, so I guess this gets the job done here. It's pretty easy to work with and set up. And yeah, like if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or drop your questions in the comments. I will try to answer them. Thank you.